filmmaking. Um, so what I wanted to do was my class lectures for uh, script writing were a little long and convoluted and lots of breaks. So I wanted to give you a nice uh, condensed demo of how to uh, do the screenplay format. Um, so how to get something to look like this, to look like how scripts look like that, uh, and just kind of go over the tips. Um, if you Google this, you will see lots of different um, um, websites that tell you the, the measurements, um, but I have them listed right here as well. Um, you don't see a lot of websites telling you how to modify a Google Doc, though, so I wanted to make sure that was here, um, and how to play with these formatting styles. So, let's talk. All right, so here is just kind of what's going to be typed. Um, we've kind of gone over that in class, so I'm just going to try to keep this strictly to formatting your script. Um, and the reason why we screenplay these script, ugh, the reason why we format these screenplays uh, this certain way is one, it's an industry standard, but uh, the way you do it with the sizes and the margins, um, it makes it exactly one page of screenplay, usually translates to about one minute of film. And so, um, there's a whole bunch of other things here. It's very, it makes it easier to read. It makes the actors uh, able to read their lines. It makes the producers easier to find out which scenes go where. Um, and so let's just kind of, let's get to it. All right. So I have my fresh document here. Open up a fresh new Google document. Go ahead and do that now. Yeah. All right. You ready? Now, um, I've already kind of typed the text in here. So you might need to type some text in here. But most screenplays are going to start with fade in. Or sometimes they start with cut. To. These are called editing marks, and you don't actually need to have these here. Um, but the first line you're definitely going to need to have right here is the, um, the, the slug line or the scene tag, um, which is gonna I'll talk about in a second. Um, but let's format everything first. So the first thing we need to do, I got a little bit ahead of myself. The first thing we need to do is let's just select all the text. I can either hit Command A. So let me get my little active thing going here. And then, um, let's see, you're not working? Oh, you don't like us when we're in full screen, do you? Let's go back out of here. There we go. There it is. All right. So you can either hit Command A, Command A, to select everything, um, or you can just highlight all the text. And you want to change this into Courier New 12 point font. So your entire script is in Courier New. 12 point font. Let me just shrink that down so you can see that a little bit better. Um, and that uh, Courier New is what, with, with a certain type of font that is every single character is the exact same amount of pixels. So, like, it doesn't matter how much you type, every line is going to be like 40 characters or so. Or 40, yeah. Um, I could be wrong on that number. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a set standard size for every single character. Uh, so the I is the same width as the N, and the, the lowercase O is the same with as a little i, etc. Um, all right, so now let's do this, these two things, the edit mark and the scene slug. Oh, and I got ahead of myself again. Let's do one more thing here. Our entire page margin set should be uh, set to one and a half on this side on our left margin and right one inch on our right margin, and the tops need to be one margin. You can see I like to type all the way to the edges of the paper, so let's change that up. So let's go to File, up here in the right corner, file, left corner, excuse me. And you're going to go to page setup. And you're going to change this to top one, bottom one, left 1.5, right one. Um, this is also because it also worked back in the day with the typewriters, um, which is also why we use Courier New. But then also this left margin is super big because they like to staple pages and copy and they, they hold them like that and they get because of the binding. Um, there's a whole, all of these things have reasons behind them. All right, here's our, here's our slug line. Our slug line needs to be bold. Command B. And it is already at one and a half inches and six inches, right, from the margins. Okay. Our description line right here is already set, except it's not bold. So the only difference between the slug line, which tells us interior, exterior, this is INT for interior, EXT for exterior, and then a bold description of place and time, which I'm gonna change these in a second, 
And then um, our description line is telling us what we see on camera, what we're seeing on camera and what the actors are doing or actions, right? Um, that is in regular font. If I run into a character for the first time, if I mention their name, it's going to be all caps. Or if I'm including a specific font, uh, sorry, a specific prop, that's going to be in all caps um, if I'm calling back. Only the first time you see a character here. Um, so this is good to go. This is good to go. And I'm going to rewrite these in a second, um, but I just want to get the settings just right. Okay. Next is our character queue. So this is where you put the character name. And our character queue needs to be in bold. And then these measurements here are two and a half inches from the already established inch and a half margin, right? So if I'm thinking this of, of addition here, I got one and a half plus two and a half, that's gonna be four, right? But I'm just gonna use two and a half because that's what the ruler here says, and it's a lot easier to just move that ruler. So I'm gonna take this, move the lower left uh, triangle, the bottom triangle, and drag it all the way to two and a half like so, and then take the right triangle and drag it all the way into four like so. Right, and now that is set. Okay, next I'm gonna take this one, the character direction here, and I'm gonna take this little uh, triangle again, it's another line, and I'm going to pull it all the way over to the number two. I'm gonna take four and a half over here and I'm gonna drag it all the way, this right triangle to four and a half. So now I've set a new indented margin for the character direction. And character directions should be small. Character director sh should be how the actor should interpret that line. Angry, sarta sarcastic, mouth full of food, yawning. It if it's anything else like punching the other actor or closing the door and getting up and walking out, or, that doesn't belong in parentheses. That actually goes back into a description setting. All right, and then finally, uh, the dialogue line. I'm just going to highlight that line. Whoop. And this needs to be at 1 and 5. So I'm going to grab this and drag all this way out to 1 and drag this one all the way out to 5. Boom. And this is actually what the character is saying. Okay? All right. Now, I know some of you are saying, if I have to do that for every line, I'm going to go crazy. So here's the, the magic shortcut, all right? So let's go back to our bold scene tagline. You, you don't have to highlight it. You can actually just put your, your make sure your, uh, your, mark, your cursor is there, or you can highlight it if it helps. And I'm gonna go up next to where, it, where I was choosing my fonts. Right next to it, there's a thing here that says normal text. We're gonna switch that. We're gonna go down to title, and I'm gonna hit this little arrow next to it and choose update title to match. And now, if I go back, titles now is bold and in courier new. It's also save the margins. I can't rename this. If I was doing Word, I could rename these right now, but I can't do that on Google Drive. I'm gonna do the following for next, though. This one's gonna be my subtitle. Normal text, subtitle, arrow, update subtitle to match. I got my queue here, heading one. I'm gonna switch that one to Update heading one. Now that heading one is my character queue. And then um, my direction, or my parenthetical, sometimes people call it, when I go down, heading two, options, update heading two to match. Whoop. And now you're not really seeing any changes yet, but I'm going to delete everything and actually write a scene in front of you guys, right? So now I'm going to go dialogue scenes, character thing, and I'm going to go to normal text, and I'm going to go to heading number two three, I'm going to say update heading to match. Now there's one other thing you can do, and the short there's a shortcut, uh, command, option, and the number, and that will plug it into the next setting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to this, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to my scene tagline, and I'm also going to make this option four, heading, and notice it came up with two new headings. So I'm going to go back here and update heading to match. So Title still remains title, but I also have it again here. This is so that I can use the hotkey, command option four, takes me back here, and then this one will be command option five. So again, I'm gonna go, it says subtitle, but I can also make it heading five, and this is just so I can use the hotkeys. Um, if anyone out there discovers that I can use the hotkeys for subtitle and title, let me know. I haven't found it, but I haven't done an extensive Google search yet for that. Okay, um, there we have it.
So now I'm good to go to actually write my script and I don't have to keep on messing with these margins. Some people were trying to do tabs, but you want the right margins cutting off too. Um, and this is kind of the, the flow of a screenplay. So let me just kind of go all the way back up here to the top and just delete it. No, Mr. G. But I still have all my headings here. So I'm gonna start with title. Notice it kind of changed and I'm gonna say faded in all caps. And then I'm gonna put like uh, INT, oops, and I lost my, so I, I forgot. I'm gonna go down here and now switch this to subtitle. And now I'm gonna go to, oh no, it's not subtitle, excuse me. I'm still on title, I'm gonna go INT, period. Uh, Menlo Atherton, comma, I three afternoon, right, time of day, maybe I'll put a semicolon there, right, main location, more specific location, time of day, if I wanted to put the weather or something else I could, but I'm not going to, uh, I just realized these should be in all caps, um, so I can also do this where I can go to uh, text and I can just choose all caps, uppercase, boom, right. I can also update my title so it does that next time. I'm going to update it down here to heading four. All right. All right. I'm going to do my next line. It already said normal text. So remember, I have my hotkeys. So I can either go to subtitle or I'm going to hit command option and then I'll show you. But I just want to use the menus first. All right. So we'll be like, uh, Mr. G, that I'm in all caps because of the first time you see me. I'll, you know what? Let's start with something a little bit before me. I'll be like, the computer lab is dark. I can do a little bit more descriptive language than I want, but I'm just giving an example. Mr. G sits as at, excuse me, at his desk, mousing away at the computer. He looks bored. Suddenly, the door opens and Zach, and again, Zach is all caps. Um, Zach is all caps because it's the first time we see him. Zach opens the door and, sorry, suddenly the door opens and Zach runs to Mr. G. Notice Mr. G was not in all caps this time. It's only one letter not capitalized, but because I've already introduced myself here in all caps, I don't need to do it again. And I can say here, Zach is holding a camera. Boom. All right? Uh, I could go on more. Remember, I want to try and make a nice visual picture as to what's going on in my classroom. I could, the computer lab, I don't need to say all the computer. I could say all the computers are off. I could add more details if I wanted to. You're going to decide that level. Um, you don't want it too detailed, right? Because you got to be flexible with your scenes. Um, but you want to be, you want to really paint the picture of what we're going to see on camera. All right, now let's get people talking. I'm going to hit enter, enter. And now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose heading one. And Zach's going to say something. All caps, Z A C. Enter. And just to demonstrate parenthetical, uh, I'm not even going to demonstrate it first. Zach's going to say, actually, let's do a parenthetical. Uh, so notice, it's right here, and it'll be like, out of breath, All right? Hit enter, and now I'm gonna go down here again to subtitle three, and this one is gonna, he's gonna say, you nev you'll never guess what I just caught on, oops, caught on camera. Enter, enter. Let me get that away from the yellow line. Now, I don't even have to go here. I can use the hotkey, command option one, brings me back to the character queue, because it's heading one, right? And I'm gonna go, this is all caps, Mr. G, enter. And then I'll do one more parenthetical, even though I'm, I'm preaching don't do a parenthetical every line. I just want to demonstrate that I can just kind of flow with it. Um, he's, let's see, I'll be sarcastic. Sarcastically. Um, 
and then enter, and then command option three. Uh, let's see. Aliens, Bigfoot, then Zach's gonna be like, command option one, and then Zach goes, all caps. Again, I'm gonna do a, and then this time I'm not gonna do a parenthetical. Uh, I'm not a fan of having a parenthetical every line. Uh, lots of actors don't. And, be, and then this is actually gonna be like, come on, be serious. Those were legitimate misunderstandings, right? And what I'm doing here with that dialogue is that I'm kind of establishing a relationship and a rapport right now, um, right? Because now Zach's up, and I can just keep going. If Zach doesn't, and then what I'm going to do is sometimes people do this. They put a parenthetical either right in the middle or they skip down and go command option two, and they'll put like takes out camera. And I'm going to say, no, 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 don't do that. This needs to be back in the description. So I could go back up to here and I can go to, um, sorry, I can go to uh, my subtitle. But remember, I also made it heading five so that I could um, make it a um, description or use, using my hotkey. So command option five, because I've just established that. And now I'm going to be like, Zach opens up the camera and hands out the SD card and hands hands out the SD card hands the SD card um, and then let's let's add a little bit more of what he's doing he fumbles a bit almost dropping the camera and then boom boom skip a line always be skipping those lines command option one and then mr g I, I go like that and then command option three i don't have to put yelling because you're if he's about to drop the camera and mr g says something like careful maybe i can put it in all caps that'll or i can just put careful right exclamation point I don't have to put yelling. I could let the person who's playing Mr. G decide how he wants to say careful. Does he want to say it like negatively, like careful, right? Does he want to say more like careful, right? There's a lot of different ways you can say careful. I could, if I was really strong and felt like Mr. G should say it this way, I could give him another parenthetical, but then, and then Zach's just going to go back and I'm just going to go command option one and Zach says, command option three, always. And then I can, I'm going to go back, command option five, and say um, he recovers and flips the SD card like a coin. Boom. Right? And that is your script. And your script plate, let me just reduce it down so it starts to look. Let's go even smaller just so you can kind of see it. Nice big picture. Um, notice all the dialogue is happening on one line. All the description is happening on one line. Nothing is centered. Um, this is how screenplays look, and this is how to do it. There are screenplay softwares out there. You could also use Microsoft Word. But this way um, allows you to kind of uh, – uh, we can use Google Doc because it's free – um, this is rather quick and easy and cheap and free, but then we can also collaborate with it as well on our school system. So um, you're going to be writing your screenplays and scripts like this, looking like this, using this method. Um, and that is it. Hope you did well. Um, let's see those scripts get turned in. All right.